When I was a boy, I thought sin was contained in dewdrops on flowers, and if I got up very early in the morning, I could collect it and make perfume. Oscar de la Renta. Creating a natural aftershave for your husband or partner is a great way to personalize an essential oil blend that they can enjoy. This aftershave recipe uses a 3% concentration of essential oils along with other ingredients. Now it calls for alcohol, which means it's intended for home use only as special licensing is required for reselling commercial products that contain alcohol. You're going to want to check with your local and state licensing regulations for more information regarding this. Now you can substitute the alcohol and use witch hazel if you prefer, but I don't recommend witch hazel because it just doesn't blend well with the other oils ingredients and it just doesn't look pretty in your atomizer or your spray bottle. Here are the supplies you will need to make your all natural aftershave at home. one ounce glass dark bottle or atomizer, or if you have a pretty perfume bottle to use, glass stir rod and a glass bowl, two tablespoons alcohol or witch hazel, 18 drops of glycerin, or you can use fractionated coconut oil, 18 drops of essential oil blend, and three drops of vitamin E oil. In a small glass bowl, add up to 18 drops of essential oil, starting with your base note, followed by your middle note and your top note. Be sure to check the fragrance as you add each drop, stirring with a glass rod to blend. Some of the most popular essential oils for men's aftershaves include bay, carrot, Roman chamomile, cypress, frankincense, juniper berry, palmarosa, patchouli, rosemary, tea tree, sage, and vetiver. For this recipe, I've chosen three essential oils and I'm going to be using six drops of each oil. I'm going to be using lime essential oil, basil essential oil, and fir balsam essential oil. Add in your glycerin and your vitamin E oil. If you don't have glycerin to use as a fixative, which is what's gonna hold the scent to the skin longer, you can substitute fractionated coconut oil instead. Add your blend to a dark glass bottle or your perfume bottle. Fill the rest of the bottle with alcohol or witch hazel. Right, so once you're finished, you go ahead and add it to your spray bottle, shake it up, and use as normal. One of the ingredients in our recipe was basil, and is found in numerous men's fragrances, such as Eau Sauvage by Dior, and Eau Pore Hama by Armani, my favorite. Basil is an herbaceous and a refreshing plant, originally from India, which found its way to Europe along the spice routes. It's become a vital part of both Mediterranean and Thai cooking. 
all nations agree that basil is a regal plant. It takes its name from the Greek word meaning kingly and royal. In Romania, it has romantic undertones as a prospective groom accepts a spree of basil from his fiancée when he becomes engaged. The aromatic note of basil is bright, abrasive, and peppery. It adds a touch of sunshine in a blend, especially for floral and citrus fragrances. Here's a few more combinations of blends to try in your aftershave. Brawny Man. This one is a basil essential oil, fir balsam essential oil, and helichrysum essential oil. Kona Man. Black pepper essential oil, coriander essential oil, and sandalwood essential oil. Confident Man. This one contains cardamom essential oil, vetiver essential oil, and lang lang essential oil. Okay guys, well that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please leave a comment below and let me know how your aftershave turned out and which oils you chose to use in your recipe. If you would like to see more videos on perfume making, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. I think the 80s hair needs to come back, don't you?